Hi, this is Matt from Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're looking at the TL Multicomp compressor from Tonelib. Let's have a look at it. So as you can see on screen, TL Multicomp is quite an attractive looking compressor. And essentially it's split into two modes, if you like, hence the multi. So on the left here in the blue section, we have, let's call it the conventional controls. And on the right hand side is the easy comp. And as the name would imply, it is a much simplified version of essentially everything to the left. I'm sure the majority of you watching this channel are aware of all these parameters in a compressor. So threshold ratio, attack release, knee and makeup, etc. And then I'm also confident that a few of you at least are still confused by all these terms and exactly how a compressor works. And that's exactly where the easy comp section comes in. So instead of mucking about with all these dials, essentially you just turn the easy comp on and then you adjust the sensitivity to taste. It really could not be simpler. You'll notice that when I flick this knob here, all the parameters on the left are grayed out and vice versa. And that's because you can only use one or the other. You can only use the conventional compressor or the easy comp. Let's go back to the detailed compressor, like flicking it like so. So obviously the majority of the window is waveform visualization. And then below that is for the sidechain. The compressor itself can be moved around within this window so as to not get in the way or if it's still too much in the way then you can simply collapse it like so and then expand it. In practice though I haven't felt much need for collapsing it like so because the window is incredibly flexible. You can size it however you want. So that includes horizontally and also vertically as well. And I'm not aware of any other or many other plugins actually that allow for this. So that's super cool. I really like it. And then also in the easy comp mode, you can see that there's a vocal mode. So let's have a listen to it. I currently have just a few loops loaded in of various types. So some drum loops, I've got a break, there's a piano there and a vocal loop also. And the vocal loop we'll use for the vocal mode, obviously. Let's play back a drum loop and then we'll dial in some compression. Let's hear it without first. Let's turn off the knee, we don't need that for now. We can, we can focus on just the import like so. Or well, let's put them back on so we're looking at it all. Just the threshold, so it's just below the peaks like so. Very easily represented. Leave the ratio of four. Maybe a bit more. We can focus just on the gain reduction, like so. And then without or with Oh, let's flick over to the easy comp mode. So let's turn on that one and then we'll see how that compares. So obviously that's way too much. Let's turn it down a bit. Sounds about right. Or well, back to the original one. Or off. Really nice. Love it. Let's now listen to what's the next one. Let's say a guitar loop. bypassed and let's now do the same for here let's put it back to the detailed version like here let's turn down the ratio let's go around two
reduce the knee a bit so it's a bit softer. And then once again, let's go to the Easy Comp. Let's turn that one on. Currently there's no compression because you can see the red line is there, it's right at the top. So let's increase the sensitivity. I think that's really transparent all the way up to there. It's really transparent. I think that sounds about right. Off looking back. Or without. Very transparent. See so what else we have here? We've got another guitar. Let's turn the sensitivity down on that one. We've got that a bit too much, obviously. I'll put it back on the manual one. And without... Let's see what else we have. Bit of piano. That's with the easy cop mode quite high up already. Let's go back to the detailed. Slightly higher on the ratio. without again super transparent now let's have a look at the vocal mode so let's play back our vocal loop Ay, muchacho, qué bonito que te veo. yo quisiera confesarte que te quiero es muy guapa tu sonrisa y tu mirada Ay, qué lastima que tú no sientas nada. Let's put back the input. Ay, muchacho, you. qué bonito que te veo. Yo quisiera confesarte que te quiero. Es muy guapa tu sonrisa y tu mirada. Ay, qué lastima que tú no sientas nada. Ay, muchacho, qué bonito Let's go to the que easy te comp. veo. Yo quisiera confesarte que te quiero. Even turning it right up, it's still super transparent. Really nice. And let's flick on the vocal mode. Ay, muchacho, qué bonito que now te that veo. really pops with the vocal mode on now. Yo quisiera confesarte que te quiero. 
Es muy guapa tu sonrisa y tu mirada. And you can see we're really pushing it as two with the game reduction. So no reality, nada. probably back it off a bit to around there, I'd say. Qué bonito que te veo. Yo quisiera confesarte que te quiero. And below that we have the sidechain function, so you can use the internal audio, you can feed it an external sidechain. And then to the right of that, you have the EQ curve to adjust accordingly. And not for the output, the EQ curve for the sidechain, that is. And you've got three nodes here. The bottom and the top are fixed, apart from the cutoff slope, like so. So you've got 6 through to 96, and then the same for the upper. But then the middle, you have various types here. So, so peak, low shelf, low pass, high, high shelf, high pass, notch, band pass, tilt shelf, and peak. And then below that, we have the mix style, should you wish to go New York style parallel compression. So as you can hear, it's super transparent, super clean, and this interface makes it really easy to set up and to use. It's currently on offer from Audio Plugin Deals for, frankly, a no-brainer price. So go check it out. And if you're after a simple to use, very transparent compressor, then check this one out for sure. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back shortly with something else. See you then. Bye.